And I don't know if this is on purpose or by accident, but I feel like we've entered into the Greg got groovy era of uh, the Brady Bunch because we're in the attic. He's got his leather vest, his reel to reel, his shearling vest and some some records. I don't think uh, Greg ever had the uh, Gibson girl, but um, well, if you got a dollar, well, just lousy it down. Know that I got rhythm that could suit your budget fine. So as promised, I'm doing the rest of the Geneva Antique Market. Uh, you've got the check-in counter here, and that little dark area, that's what I recorded before. That's where my booth is at. Uh, but I finally figured out how to turn on all the lights, and it's after hours, so no one's here, no music is playing, so I hopefully can get the rest of the store in this video. So when you first walk in the door, you can see we are a store of jewelry. That is not all that we are in or all, all that we were about. And admittedly, when I first started my booth here, I didn't carry any jewelry at all. Well, uh, rising tide floats all boats. So when you've got a place that's known for jewelry, people come in looking for jewelry. If you carry jewelry, you'll sell jewelry. So my booth has been doing quite a bit better since I started doing uh, some jewelry. Now, admittedly, this shocks me. We are right next to the door. And this stuff is on display, not in locked cases, all sitting loose, and hopefully it speaks to the, to the uh, well, to a certain extent the clientele. Also helps that you're probably right opposite the checkout counter. Um, but there hasn't been excessive amounts of theft. So that's, all, that's encouraging. Uh, the jewelry that's carried here is a, is a mix of costume. Uh, some of the higher end pieces are locked up, some of the signed pieces. Uh, but, you know, some great mix of rings, little box, $10 ring sale, earrings all in a, you know, nice little tree. Got a, I do have a locked case here. So if we look into this, you can see some sterling is in there. Um, let's see if I can see what some of these tags are. Looks like it's a lot of it's sterling. So things that, you know, also small micro mosaics things that would be missed if they were to walk away. Uh, so, you know, we're not foolish. So things do get uh, put into cases, but a lot of jewelry. And this is just the front of this booth. As you move into the rest of the booth, you can see, oops, didn't turn on the lights there. I don't know where those lights are, uh, but you can see even more jewelry, uh, some loose, some also in cabinets, some display, some hooked on walls, all kinds of jewelry. Uh, but what is also nice, oh, more jewelry, so we work around the corner here. What's nice about this store, and I've really benefited from it, uh, both when my booth was in the little, uh, the little um, showcase that I had, then now that I'm in, a, in an actual booth space, this table changes about, about once a month, uh, you know, some sort of season, so I can back up and get a wider uh, shot here. And it changes by theme. So, of course, it is the beginning of October. Uh, so I think it was about a week or two ago they changed this to be a fall slash Halloween uh, display. And they brought in a mix of items. So you've got you know, some great traditional um, vintage true Halloween. You've got some blow molds. But then also getting into things that are just black and orange. So if you're looking to making vignettes, I mean, I love this universal polish mop tin. Uh, let's see what they say about it. It's $28 universal. Um, especially effective on wood floors, painted floors. Universal polish mop. Let's see if I can see anything on here. Don't see a date but probably 30s or 40s and just some cool graphics the right colors fantastic for an autumnal display they also brought these uh, cobbler uh, shoe pieces a crimping iron i think this is for it's for collars i can't remember for making ruffles or something oh no they're saying this is a door knocker that is not a door knocker it's a mold or a, something of some sort. I thought it was... Hmm, 
There's three different sizes in there. Hmm, put in the comments what you think that is. It is designed to be bolted, so bolted down. You can see the screw holes on the side. So I can see why you, I mean, it would work with a door knocker, very heavy door knocker. Um, but the fact that there's mold pieces in there, I think it's to make or crimp something. When I first saw it, I thought it was a ruffle maker, but there's not enough uh, ridges. So I'm not sure what that is. Some black glass, more black glass. Again, some great jewelry. Uh, who remembers the slim line? I did not have the, uh, what would this, that was not the Harvest Gold. I don't, I don't know, this is plain orange. I don't know what color that was, but that was definitely a phone of its time. Uh, some cool old Victorian high boots. Again, just something really cool for a vignette. The great, the right colors in black and gold. Bottle caps for home use. Die cuts. Mixed bag. But uh, anyway, the fact that they do this, they pull from all of the tables or I'm sorry, all of the booths to put onto the table. So it's really nice so when people come in, you they all they get access to everything. Like that's one of my candlesticks is right there. So even if people don't get into your booth or they don't spend time wandering through your booth, you have a chance to sell some things here. So really appreciate that they do this. I usually get some good sales uh, when my stuff goes in here. Uh, and it's always fun when they have a fun theme. So that is the Halloween table. One of the other things that the store has been known for is LPs. This is not something that I've decided to take up. Um, I've had a couple of opportunities to find, to buy, you know, big lots of mixed LPs, but I have no idea what people are collecting, why they're collecting it. I would collect it for the art, um, but you know, for $12, somebody's probably actually looking for the James Taylor. They do well. I see this stuff sell all the time. Not something I'm trying to dip into, but there's several booths here that do uh, LPs. So it is kind of, uh, again, becomes kind of like a destination um, for that. So you don't have to have all your Halloween stuff on the table. You can still have stuff in your booth. Uh, this is another, we had a couple of changes. Some people retired, uh, some people went on to business. And these, uh, this isn't a section or a collection I've shown it before. It's in a different area because the people left and they sold their collection to another vendor, including all the cases. And it's just always fun to go into all of these individual drawers and just see what is available. Again, all completely available, completely, unfortunately, completely thievable, um, but not a problem. And this is a little bit farther away from the checkout, but you know, I guess we've got Knockwood, a fairly honest clientele. So again, lots of jewelry, lots of LPs. Um, one of the things this store is known for. All right, I missed a light switch somewhere because this is a little dark, but uh, also good selection of books and ephemera. I haven't pulled a lot of my ephemera in, although I'm trying to. Um, I'm trying to board and bag all of my stuff, which takes some time, and I'm still trying to find good ways to display it. Because although I love, you know, per picking through ephemera, I love, you know, having it available, and I'd love to make this a destination for ephemera, I get nervous when it's loose like this because a lot of people don't take their time when they're going through it, and things that are already fragile end up getting torn. Um, so, you know, this is great that we have it, and I love this display. Um, postcards are fairly popular. Um, you know, so there's a nice mix of ephemera uh, and books, but... Um, before I bring a lot more of my valuable ephemera in, I need to figure out a way to display it. All right, something here changed recently. I do not remember this exposed wall here. And I don't know if this is on purpose or by accident, but I feel like we've entered into the Greg Got Groovy era of uh, the Brady Bunch because we we're in the attic. He's got his leather vest, his reel-to-reel, -reel, his shearling vest, and some some records. I don't think uh, Greg ever had the uh, Gibson girl, but um, yeah, this exposed wall thing is uh, an interesting look. I think there used to be bo uh, bookcases in front of this. So this is new, but hey, whatever you can use to display it, we all, we we're all here to sell. Uh, so you've got, um, again, more LPs, he has some cool things, like if somebody's really looking for some very specific records, uh, Credence Gold, and uh, that's just kind of a cool cover. 
Christmas with chili. See, this would be one of those types I would think I would sell this just because, hey, it would look cool, you know, up on your fireplace mantle or something, Susie Snowflake. It's just something for Christmas as opposed to specifically for LP. But based on what we sell, definitely people are using or coming in here looking for specific LPs. Again, some more ephemera on display. I love this really tall uh, display board here. Uh, some nice storage area back there. And then again, lots of books. So I'm in the right place. Once I get my ephemera organized, I can definitely do some more and it'll have a nice home here. More jewelry. We don't have a lot of clothes in the shop. Actually, this might be the only, only booth that has one. Um, so kind of an interesting mix of collection uh, there, along with some luggage, some jewelry, uh, just some nice uh, decor pieces. Um, I, so many people have moved around. I don't know if they're new or if they've just moved from someplace else, but uh, I actually didn't know we had anyone selling clothing. Catching the back side of the table, I hadn't walked all the way around it before, so you can you know, see things on all sides. Uh, that's my black glass vase. Just some cool, you know, hey, everyone needs a black rat. Um, kind of a cool box. Cranes. Decision, full value, five cent cigar. It's just kind of a cool glass fronted uh, case there. Orange glass, black glass. Again, just a nice mix for fall and for Halloween. And opposite of it, we have another booth. Already starting to see some Christmas. I think this one has Christmas out a lot. Um, I see nothing wrong with having at least some Christmas year round because hey, if you're traveling through this area and you're this is the only time you're going to visit the booth or visit visit this store, hey, if you like to collect Christmas, why not have some place to buy your Christmas? I don't see a problem with that. Um, this is something here in the Midwest you see a lot of this. Uh, let's see, it's um, how do they have it marked? It's um, it was available with the Jewel T, and it's from Hall. It's a Hall pattern, and I want to say it's Autumn Leaf. I should know. Yeah, I think that's what the AL stands for, Autumn Leaf. This was given away as like a premium in Jewel stores, so you find a lot of this in the Midwest, and you know these are really nice pieces. Big, good size picture, only 18 bucks. The little custards are only six bucks. You find good prices because they tend to be a lot of them. I've been on the East Coast and they consider this extremely valuable because they don't have as much of it. And uh, I'm like, hey, head to the Midwest. Um, but again, another great display of, oh, got Christmas right here in front. Another great display of LPs because again, you know that's what people are going to be looking for. You'll build up your collection to supply it. And hey, some ephemera as well. So this video didn't end up being nearly as long, probably could have done it as a short form video, but I at least wanted to show some of the rest of the store uh, and highlight some of the individual booths. Um, what I'll probably do, I had some really positive reactions. One time I did like a scavenger hunt style where I looked for something, a specific type of collectible and did shoot throughout the store. I will probably do that, but I really wanted to make sure this video went out to show the center table. Uh, because this weekend is the annual Midwest, um, there's a name for it, but it's basically a shop hop. And it's, I think it's up to like 400 stores now. So I wanted to try and get this up, uh, recorded and edited and try and get it running before the shop hop and maybe encourage some people to make a, include this in their visit. So this is the Geneva Antique Market, downtown uh, Geneva and uh, Third Street in the basement of the Berry, um, Berry House. There's a great antique shop right next to us uh, that sells higher end French and European uh, antiques. So definitely include this in the mix. And there's a bunch of other antique convention stores in Geneva as well. You could just make a day of visiting uh, Geneva. So thanks for uh, watching the video. Thanks for your time. Thanks for putting your trust in Trusty Huckster. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. Give me a good deal on something I can use. Make me an offer that I just can't refuse When that sunrise in the morning and there's nothing there to do will probably be the last time I see you Woo-hoo, I hope